It is what it is. As soon as somebody tell y'all something, y'all want to paint the man to be the bad guy. Dude, I, I did absolutely nothing, and I prayed about it. I begged about it, and it was no changes. What you want me to do? But since people don't get the way that they want, then they go and they bring it to you guys, which I think is very immature, and I feel like, you know, it should never be. So I didn't want to die, guys. So I didn't want to die. So I came to get some peace. And, and, and be careful with women, mm. okay? They're dream killers. Woo. You start messing with little girls, they dream killers. Now, a lot of people listen to that and go, oh, John, why are you, you saying that? Guess what? If I was talking to a girl, I would tell her to stay away from boys because boys are dream killers. I heard that. It works both ways. You got to stay focused is the point. That ain't saying you can have a little girlfriend, but don't get out of control. You got to be selfish. It's all about what it is you're trying to do in that path. If you get distracted, you're done. You can't get distracted. So what's good, homies? This is your man, Dr. B.O.A. Man, I get a lot of stories and uh, I have a lot of consultations with guys and even some people that I know personally. And one thing that many men have in common when they're in relationships with women is that they give everything they have to the relationship. And sometimes men find themselves in situations where the woman is toxic. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the atmosphere. Welcome to the Alpha Sphere, the only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. I love my family. I put, uh, sometimes you need a break. This break is for me. I don't want to lose myself. So I came up to Sedona to mentally grab my piece. Everybody is taken care of. She hit me for money and the money was sent. The kids are good. Y'all like toxic. You do. That's why y'all uh, follow that. That's why y'all jump to conclusions the first time y'all hear somebody say something. You know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. As soon as somebody tell y'all something, y'all want to paint the man to be the bad guy. Dude, I, I did absolutely nothing. And I prayed about it. I begged about it. And it was no changes. What you want me to do? I prayed about it. I begged about it. There were no changes. See, the problem with being married, legally married to a woman, is that even when you see there are no changes, you're still stuck there with the woman. And you know, the major problem with marriage in modern society is that women don't understand the value that a man brings to their life when he's willing to put himself in that bucket with them. See, when you're in a bucket with someone, you guys can either help each other achieve things or one of you guys can be a crab in the bucket. And when a man is in a situation with a woman who's a crab in the bucket, he works harder and harder and harder and harder to maintain that relationship under the constraints of being with someone who's dead weight. This man has been with this woman for years. You know how long ago that was, man, with the making the band stuff, man? That was years ago, years ago. And this guy is still dealing with the same energy from this woman. I have to leave. I have to get my mind together because I don't want things to go left. My kingdom is too big for me to let it fold because of somebody else. Yeah, so it is what it is, man. You know, so I would have never took this to the Internet. I think it's really toxic to take it to the Internet because the, the text messages were enough. But they were still toxic. But I was trying to get those to change. But since people don't get the way that they want, then they go and they bring it to you guys, which I think is very immature. And I feel like, you know, it should never be. Now, when you think about what this man is saying, he's simply saying that I wish my woman wouldn't bring our business online. Let me tell you men something right now, and you women as well. Once you take your business to the internet, your relationship is over. It's done. I mean, whether you're a celebrity couple or you're a couple and both of y'all work at Walmart together. Let me tell you something. When you look at all the celebrity couples who put their business online and juxtapose those couples against the ones who don't put their business online, the ones who put their business online, their relationships are toxic. All we ever see is toxicity. And you have people on either side. Well, that's normal. That's no big deal. Or, man, that's toxic. That's bad. But you look at the couples who don't put their business online. What do we know about Denzel Washington and his wife? Nothing. Except they've been married for a long time. That's all we know. As famous as B and J are, what do we know about them? We know they're rich and they have babies. 
every now and then a situation to pop up, but it's always a public situation. It's not something that they're feeding out about their personal life. If you are with someone who puts your personal lives and personal information out on the internet that way, what they're doing is doxing you. Many of you are worried about people online doxing you. The, the woman or man that you're with is the one doxing you. Anytime somebody come on and say, well, this is what Dean did. Anytime I go on and say, well, this is what Sassy did. This is what Shardy did. Anytime I come on and say that, then I'm telling you that I'm doxing my bro. If she comes on and tell you something about me, she's doxing me. And what this man is saying is that he doesn't believe that his woman should come on and dox him like that. And I agree with that 100%. That is why I say a woman cannot be active online if she's going to deal with me. Let's wrap this up. Now, what you're going to hear now, man, is the most telling part of this. And this is the part we're going to hang the rest of this interview on. Yeah, so I didn't want to die, guys. So I didn't want to die. So I came to get some peace. Now, when you hear a man say, I didn't want to die, I had to come to get some peace. See, you don't have to understand that not having peace of mind will destroy you. You will start feeling lack of peace of mind destroying you as you live. Life will show you what lack of peace of mind will do to you. So anytime that you believe a woman is killing you, man, you have the right to get away. You have the right to leave a situation that's so toxic. What this man needs to do is divorce this woman. He needs to divorce this woman at this point. This woman has already given up on this relationship years ago. But see, this is what happens when you put a woman on a pedestal and she doesn't deserve to be on it. There's two types of scenarios that can lead to this in a marriage. You can overvalue a woman and put her on a pedestal that she doesn't belong on, or you can put a woman in a position that makes her lazy and makes her toxic because she feels like she's got you now. Either way, it's going to turn out this way when you're going to be a man who feels like you need to get away. And here's the thing, brother. If you feel like you need to get away at any particular time from your bra because of lack of peace of mind, every time you come back, it's going to be the same. You want to live a life in a continual cycle of needing to flee the scene from your family because your woman is toxic? If a woman was in this situation, don't you know, man, she'd have been ran down and had a divorce, and a divorce already? If it gets to the point where you need to leave because things are about to go left, homie, things are already gone left. Here's the problem that what you mean. You believe that if a situation goes bad and you leave it and come back, it's going to be good because you left. No. Anytime you do that, you come back and you pick up the situation where you left off. And that's a very toxic situation to be in. So for this man to say, I didn't want to die, y'all. What he's really saying is the woman that I married, mother of my children, the one that I put on the pedestal, the one that I've gone down through there for and done all of these different things. Let me tell you something. Anytime you got to be on marriage boot camp and couples therapy, your relationship has been bad for a long time, man. He's probably been in a sick, toxic relationship for a decade now. Don't you think this man deserves to have peace? Because I sure do. We all deserve peace. And if we're going to accept the fact that a woman in a toxic relationship with a man deserves peace, then we damn sure going to accept that a man in a toxic relationship with a woman needs peace. And as you've already heard, he's going to provide for his children. She called, asked for money. Money was sent. This is a terrible situation for a man to be in. man. And I sympathize with the brother because he's still in the prime of his life and he's wasting away what he has left of his best years on a woman that he should have left years ago. Because contrary to popular belief, it's not a good thing. It doesn't make you a real man to stay with a woman who doesn't want to be with you as evidenced by the fact that she isn't willing to pursue peace with you. I don't care nothing about the money. I don't care nothing about the notoriety. I don't care nothing about the beauty. I don't care nothing about none of that. If the woman is not willing to pursue peace with you, then you had better do what this young man did and let's flee the scene. But don't flee it temporarily. Get gone. And don't come back. Be a provider and protector for your children. Because you owe them that. But a woman, oh, you got to make her earn everything she get. And as evidenced by this man need to flee the scene because this woman bringing so much misery and pain. This woman ain't earned nothing. But that early exit that she's been dodging all of this time. 
I don't condone that a man flee the scene and leave a scenario that he agreed to build. But like he said in this video, when you have to start talking about your kingdom in relationship to protecting it from the negative energy of your woman, man, that situation is over. Because if you got to protect the kingdom from her, that means she outside attacking your kingdom. You shouldn't even call her wife anymore. You're sleeping with the enemy. And bad things happen to men who sleep with the enemy. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men and women have to say. I'm out. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Striving to become.